is. Hi, it's me, Daisy. I'm so happy you're... Sorry about that. I must be having... Allergies. One, two, three, four. Wow, that was a lot of sneezes. How many sneezes was that? Four sneezes? Wow, that's a record. See you later. Whoa, there are sparkles everywhere. I better clean this up. Now, what was I saying? Oh yeah, in the springtime, two very important things happen. First, the flowers bloom. When all the plants, trees, and grasses bloom, their flowers make pollen. Which is what makes me do all those sneezes. That's what allergies are. And the second most important thing, and it's very, very important, is my grandmother comes over for a tea party. It's the most important tea party of the year, and I want everything to be perfect for my grandmother. <sighs> my grandmother loves delicious snacks and is very particular about her tea. She likes it not too hot, with a spot of milk and a big spoonful of honey. This is a disaster. What am I going to do? I can't serve my grandmother tea without honey. So I'll get more honey before she comes here, which is very, very soon. So I'll have to find more honey. Oh, wait. Where does honey come from? You know what this calls for. Curiosity Corner. Where does honey come from? Do you want to find out where honey comes from too? Yes? Great. Then I need your help to get there. I need you to use your imagination and say the magical transportation bell. Ready? Okay. Off we go. We're on our way to have a fun and magical day. Are you from outer space? No, Daisy. It's me, Beekeeper May. You're my bee apiary, which is another word for bee yard. Would you like to learn more about the bees? I do love bees, but today I'm more interested in honey. I need to find honey to make the perfect cup of tea for my grandmother. There must have been a mistake. <laughs> Maybe the curiosity corner is broken. Oh no, Daisy, you can't be interested in honey without being interested in bees. Would you like to learn why? See you, Pelletier. I sure would. Do you want to come check out the bee apiary with me? Yes? Great, let's go. Not just yet, Daisy. Let's make sure we're in our bee outfits. <laughs> wow, Daisy, I love your style. Thank you. Now that we're safe in our beekeeping suits, let's go see some bees. Oh, wow. These are some uh, nice boxes, May, but where are all the bees? The bees are inside. This is the hive. That's their home. Oh, neat. Whoa, those bees are escaping. Should we catch them? No, Daisy, the bees are free to come and go as they wish. I wonder where they're going to and coming from. Don't you? The bees are flying to and from flowers in the neighborhood. Take a look at this. Wow, look at them go. Buzzing and flying and landing. And when they land on flowers, they start wiggling around. It looks like a dance. Let's try it. Buzz, fly. Land and wiggle, buzz, fly, land and wiggle. Everybody now, buzz, fly, land and wiggle. Buzz, fly, land and wiggle. A little softer now. Buzz, fly, land and wiggle. Buzz, fly, land and wiggle.
land and wiggle. Little louder now, Buzz. Fly, land and wiggle. Buzz, fly, land and wiggle. They sure are busy on all those flowers, but what are they doing, May? They're collecting nutritious pollen and sugary nectar from the flowers. Oh, pollen is the worst. Remember those, uh, 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 Yes, the bees collect pollen and nectar from different flowers and they bring it back to the hive. Neat! How do they carry it? Do they have little bee baskets? Yes, they've got pollen baskets on their legs. Snack pouches on their legs. That is so cool. And they have a lot of legs. Let's count how many legs a bee has. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six legs. I think snack pouches on your legs are a great idea. I love snacks, and so does my grandmother. <gasps> my grandmother! She's coming soon! May, this is all super interesting about bees, but what does this all have to do with honey? Let's take a look inside the hive to find out. <gasps> Bees take the pollen and nectar from their pollen baskets and put it into the honeycombs. Then they all flap their wings very fast to make the water evaporate and turn everything into honey. Honey is delicious and provides nutrition for the bees all winter long when there are no flowers with pollen and nectar for them to collect. Oh, it's cold. At least we got our honey. As you can see, bees work together to survive and thrive. That reminds me of how well my friends and I work together. Just like bees. And now the bees can share some of their honey with you. <gasps> this is going to be perfect in a cup of tea. My grandmother's going to be here any minute. Excuse me, beekeeper May, but I've got to run. Or rather, fly. Well, thank you for coming. Come back anytime. Thank you. We did it. We found out that bees collect nectar and pollen to make honey. And now I have honey for my tea party. Hello, Daisy. And just in time. That must be my grandmother. Thank you so much for coming on an adventure with me. I had a wonderful time with you. Now it's time to take a rest. I'm proud of you. You did your best. Thank you for joining our magical day. I hope you decide to come back and play. Just remember, magic is everywhere, and it's up to you to find it. So go enjoy your day, find some magic, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>